Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. Today I'm here to talk about Cobra Kai Season 6, Episode 4 is called Underdogs. So I gotta admit, I ha have very mixed feelings about this episode because there were things that I really enjoyed and things that I did not really enjoy at all. It was, it was definitely the most mixed bag of the batch of five, in my opinion. But let's start off with the positives. So one thing I did like is that they did focused kind of on the underdogs in this episode they they tried to give them a chance even if they didn't end up winning everything so you know i like that dimitri got a little bit more of a standout in this episode regardless of what happened later on i actually did like that scene with him and yasmin um i still don't particularly ship them but i did like how she helped him believe him in himself and how she kind of gave him the confidence he needed to do the subsequent challenges and end up getting that spot um i did like that scene um and i also liked everything with mike barnes and he's such an entertaining character to watch and i think the actor does a great job at playing him and i think it was perfect to bring him in as like a tournament specialist um and to have him be the one to pick the um fighters for the tournament and you know an unbiased opinion i, th I think that was a really smart decision, and it was a great way to use that character. So, um, I also liked that they gave Anthony a little bit more of a of a plot, and him making him like feeling like he couldn't win. I thought I thought that was like really good because he is an underdog for sure um, through all of this, and because he's you know he's Larusso's son, but he hasn't really shined yet, and. You know, he did hit, get a hit on Robbie in this episode earlier on, but that was, like, you know, pretty minor in his mind. So he wants to prove himself. He wants to be more. But Kenny just has so much more experience, and he ends up getting beaten. Um, and Daniel says, you know, win or lose, it doesn't matter. It's just fighting with your heart. And, and I like that they're kind of focusing on the Daniel and Anthony relationship because, you, you know, we, we saw... Daniel maybe not on purpose but like he did neglect Anthony and so did Amanda you know at times because of Sam being the karate kid you know the next LaRusso and Anthony kind of got pushed to the side um and now th they seem to be like kind of doing that relationship justice and I really liked those scenes um so yeah I think those were some of the aspects I did like about the episode but there was also stuff I did not like about the episode one being is that I didn't really like the Hawk and Dimitri conflict. And, and the main reason for that is because like it felt so forced to me. Like, you know, they had hints thro thrown throughout that like Hawk di wasn't totally in love with the MIT, you know, idea for college. But and Dimitri was all about it. But I, I don't I don't know. It definitely felt like they were just trying to like force some conflict in there because they haven't had any conflict since the whole broken arm thing. And, and, I, and I get that, but like I felt like there was a more natural way they could have developed that conflict, in my opinion. Um, I, I think Dimitri beating Hawk was... It made sense to me. Um, you know, they wanted to give the underdog the shot. That was the whole point of this episode. And so Dimitri ended up getting the win. Um, people were saying online it wasn't fair because Hawk did get the flag. But technically... It's whoever gets the flag and gets back to the forest first, with it, in my opinion, is the winner. So it doesn't even matter who wins that fight, like who won that fight between them, like whoever brings it back. So I don't think he did particularly anything wrong. However, Hawk technically should have been the one to win that. But Dimitri just, he, he wasn't giving up, you know, and, and Dimitri in the past, like he would have just let Hawk have it. But, you know, he was upset with Hawk. And I do think Hawk probably should have told him that he wasn't applying to MIT, but, you know, Hawk is allowed to look at other options, and probably keeping it a secret was not the best way to go about it, but I do think Dimitri freaked out, like, a little bit too much. I think he overreacted. Um, but yeah, I, I, I felt like they could have given them a different type of conflict that would have made more sense and something a bit more natural. It kind of just felt weird to me. Um, that's just me, though. Another thing I didn't really like was everything with Devin because I think I could understand her feeling insecure because you know she's lost several times and you know 
she was brainwashed by Cobra Kai, and now she wants to prove herself. I think I can understand that to a degree. But, like, her, like, getting super upset and not being seen and all of that, like, you know, you, you think about it. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, you know, you just try your best, but, like, she just got way too stressed out about it. And I guess she's supposed to be an underdog, but, like, I don't think we know enough about her to really, like, classify her as something. Like, it just feels like we hardly know Devin as a character. And so this sudden plot twist of her making this decision to sabotage another person just kind of fell out of left field for me. Um and sure, it kind of gives her an arc, but I didn't really like how, yeah, how her and Johnny, like, they, they have all these scenes together, and Johnny kept giving her this good advice, but, like, it just kept overshadowing her, and then she made that decision to put the laxatives in Kenny's water, and then she ended up winning. Like, you know, she used to be, like, this strong you know, person and Eagle Fang, like the strong fighter and was not willing to take crap from anyone and would fight to the best of her ability. And now maybe because there's more, uh, there's more competition on the team, maybe like she doesn't feel like she's good enough. And uh, again, that, that that's probably a common thing for that age, but it was definitely hard. Like maybe if there was a more of a, of a, a gradual build up to her making this decision rather than, you know, just, this episode like I felt like there should have been a bit more of an arc and then like this happens but Devin's just not my favorite character she never has been um but that's just me um but I felt like the laxatives was such a weird choice like why do they have to go like the gross route with that like it didn't make any sense to me um so was not really a fan of that and I don't think laxatives kick in that quickly from what I know um I think they take a while, so I don't think it would have kicked in like 10 minutes or however long they were in the forest. But um, I also felt like Johnny trying so hard to, to convince Barnes to do Devin or to get Devin was a bit OOC out of character. And, you know, he was still going to fight hard for the people he cared about, I know. But like, so he was willing to let Devin beat Hawk. Like, and, you know, he's known Hawk for longer you know, and sure, Hawk did, I guess, switch sides or whatever or whatnot, but Johnny abandoned Cobra Kai first. So, you, you know, it's it, it's a tricky situation. I definitely think Hawk got nerfed, though, and I guess Kenny did too in a way. But, like, yeah, I, I felt like Johnny pursuing Devin so much and, like, trying to get her that shot and was willing to let Hawk, like, be, like, go, like, slide by and for Devin to win. It, it definitely was weird to me. Um, and yeah, seeing Hawk down again, like two seasons in a row, it was so hard. And, you know, this time I think I can excuse it a bit more because Dimitri, I guess, is a bit more of an equal match for him, maybe. And it was a more of an emotional, you know, nerf, I guess, like a, more of an emotional loss is what I'll say about that. So I, I guess I could tolerate it more than, Kenny just beating him last season, which was so stupid. Um, but yeah, um, and the, the him and Barnes' fight was just kind of stupid. I'm like, you guys are grown men fighting about like n nothing that's at stake. Like, I, I don't know. And I, I did like seeing more of like the OG Barnes come out. That was nice because last season we had more of a mellow down version of him. So I, again, I think Sean Cannon did a great job of portraying Barnes in, in this episode. But yeah, no, everything, that whole fight was just stupid to me. I mean, I think it was more like fan service to kind of give the OG, like two of the OG villains, the fight that they never got. And they just threw it in this episode with nothing really attached to it. Um, but yeah, we have Daniel being upset because Hawk's not going and Johnny just had to like Eagle Fang his way to get Devin to be on the team. And Daniel's worried that now their team's not strong enough because they don't have Hawk or Kenny, um, and, you know, Johnny's like, I'm still going to fight hard for the people I care about, and it's not a big deal, and they'll be fine, and Daniel says, we have no idea what we're up against. I'm personally on Team Daniel with this, because I don't think Johnny should have gone behind Daniel's back to talk to Barnes. That was, you know, that, that defeated the purpose that they were in this together. I think Johnny shouldn't have given Devin special privilege 
I think he should have just been like, you know, you try your best. It's it doesn't matter if you lose. Like, and I understand he was just looking out for her, and you know, he knew that like she wasn't going to be like an immediate pick. But I definitely think he overstepped, and he, in a way, like. I felt like the win would have been more earned if one Johnny didn't push so hard to Barnes, and two, you know, obviously she didn't sabotage Kenny with, with that whole thing. Um, regardless, it was not a clear and honest win, and it was kind of tainted from all sides. And Devin clearly should not be going on this tournament. That 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 is what's clear to me. Um, so you know, we have Miguel, Robbie, Sam, Tori, Dimitri, and Devin. Not who I would have picked. I, I I don't even know. I would have just assumed it would be, you know, Miguel, Robbie, Sam, Tori, Hawk, and Dimitri. Like, those those make the most sense to me because then you still have Dimitri the underdog and then you're going to have Hawk. But, like, Devin was such a weird choice just to throw in there. Like, again, we barely know her. And now she's fighting with the, the Miyagi-Dos. And I, I, I definitely i am not a huge fan of Kenny, but I felt like he should have been... If, if it was between Dimitri and Kenny, you know, maybe Kenny, but like Dimitri and, or, you know, or I meant Hawk and Devin, definitely Hawk. Um, Dimitri and Devin, definitely Dimitri. I don't know, K Kenny and Devin would definitely be like my last two picks, but I would still pick Kenny over Devin. But again, I, I the fact that Devin's even there going to be fighting is crazy to me. Definitely de was something she did not deserve. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of the, the episode. I mean, you know, there, again, there was things I liked about it. I liked that they kind of tried to give the underdogs a shot. Um, but I, I felt like, so, like the Hawk and Dimitri thing was just kind of stupid. A lot of the stuff with Devin was kind of stupid. Um, but the Mike Barnes stuff was really good and yeah. So, you know, you know, just mix, just mix bag of an episode and, you, and you're going to have those from time to time. Um, what I will say is episode five is probably my favorite of the bunch, in my opinion. But I'll, I'll that review will be out on Friday. So that's all I'm going to say about episode four. So comment down below what you thought of the episode. And I will see you then to talk about episode five. Cobra Kai never dies by everyone.